All right, now I'm going to show you guys how to export your Groom out of Maya and into Unreal Engine. So select your hairs, go to Generate, Convert XGen Primitives to Interactive Groom. Okay, now that that's done, select the ones that you want in like a single groom. So say I want her to have some mascara or something. So her hair will be like different here. So I'll apply a different material in Unreal. So I would separate that, lower lash and upper lash. Maybe I want the peach fuzz to be an optional thing in case it's really bogging down my Scene in Unreal, since games are interactive. So once you have the ones you want as one, you will go to Generate, Convert, XGen, wait, nope, uh, Cache, you want Cache. Export Cache. So now we will export our Cache. So it's going to export as an alembic file dot abc. I'll just do a current frame. You want your widths, or else you'll get all uniform widths. And this option demo hair export. And I'll do the same for each different group I want. Eyelash demo here. Don't mind the names. And demo. I meant peach fuzz. G to repeat exports. All right, now we're going to go to Unreal to preview the hair in the engine. So you can get the Digital Humans projects for free. So I'll just create a new project. Put it in here. Create. OK, now that we have the scene open, can hide the demo character. Let's import our mesh. Let's make a new folder just to keep everything neat. Right click, new folder, demo. Let's import our mesh first. All right, let's put here in the zero, zero, zero. Good. Actually, let's move her up to where Mike was. Or we'll do that later. Since we'll move everything up eventually. So to keep everything a little bit easier, we'll do it all in one. Um, thing. Let's add. So before you can import your groom, you have to have some things on. Go to project settings. Where is it? Rendering. All right, we'll go down to rendering which is within the engine scroll down to optimization and 
enable support compute skin cache. Right here. Now go down to animation or up to animation. Under performance, we're going to turn off this tick. Tick animation on skeleton mesh in it. In it. So now, one more thing. So we close this. Here, you need to restart before it works. Go to edit plugins. Then type in room. Okay. Built in room. Make sure these are both on. Yes. And now we can restart. Uh, let's save those. All right, let's hide Mike. Now let's import our grooms. Well, first we have to make grooms. Let's do that. Let's create two more. Select the static mesh. Type in groom. There we go. Let's now import. Our three hairs. Let's keep them a default for now. This might take a few minutes, depending on how powerful your computer is. All right, now that the grooms are imported, oops. I have to focus. Let's bring down this camera speed. All right, that's better. Let's attach each hair. Oops, looks like our thing didn't save. When we restarted. And All right, first let's do the standard here. The eyelashes and the beach buzz. And they're not in the right spot. I haven't really figured out how to do this yet, but I'll just have to rotate them. Let's uh, bring it up to 90. Okay. And this hair. Let's see how it looks. Automatically, it looks pretty good. You can mess around the materials if you like. And still don't know why, but this hair comes out backwards. So I'll just flip it on the, the, the X value. There we go. Perfect. And that's how her hair is looking. I'll have to pop in some eyes so that way she looks less creepy. But yeah, I think. Let's raise her up a little bit. So we can match the lighting. Oh, as we see, the hair looks pretty good. I think I spent about two weeks on this room. I'm talking like 40 hours a week, full time. So don't be discouraged. Just gotta take your time, make sure it looks good. But there was also a lot of troubleshooting and learning along the way. So there's that to take account too also, but yeah. See you in the next lesson.